The question for this week is, it's from an 11-year-old, is discharge from my vagina normal? And welcome back to another episode of Sitting in a Car. I'm Sarah Sproul and I sit in a car each week with you answering a question to help you raise your confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them. This is an example of questions that I get all the time. They're the, am I normal questions? Um, they're essentially a question asking, am I normal? And then the person describes something specific that they're wondering if they're normal about. So I've got three ideas, three ideas to help you talk to your kid to make sure they know they are normal. I remember when I was 11 or maybe I was 12 and um, puberty was well and truly under the way for me and I noticed that one of my boobs was growing faster than the other one. Wow, I was so afraid that I was going to grow up to be the one boobed woman. So afraid and there was no adult really that I could go and ask about this so I remember lying in my bed one night uh, very late and praying to God and saying, Dear God, please allow me to grow two boobs the same size. And if you do that, I promise to always be good. It's sort of funny, but it's also really sad. Like it's sad because that poor young Sarah didn't feel supported um, or have an adult that she felt that she could go to. But also there was like this bargain, like maybe this was punishment for something I'd done that was wrong, that my body was going to grow like this. So... I'm not sure that anyone out there in parenting land wants this for their child, that experience. So uh, let's head into the three tips to help you sort out and make sure your kid knows they are pretty normal. Point number one, vaginas clean themselves. That's what they're designed to do. So anything you see on underwear, that little yellow or white sort of crusty stuff that's really normal it's made up of fluid and dead cells and all that sort of stuff so you could say to your kid I learned something new today did you know that vaginas clean themselves point number two you might not know this but vaginas the fluid that comes out of them or some people call that the discharge changes over the, our cycle so sometimes that discharge will be more pasty sometimes it will be like egg whites sometimes it will feel very slippery uh, i'm going like this because one of the ways we can test what um, that fluid is like is to have a little feel of it um, that's part of getting to know what our vagina is like and um, sometimes we might notice that um, when the fluid is really stringy like if we have it between our fingers and we go like this um, it's really stringy that can be a sign that we are actually ovulating. Now, a person who has a vagina, um, it can be really empowering for them to discover that about themselves, that their body gives them a signal about something going on internally that they might not be able to see. So again, you could use the I learned something new today sentence data and say, I learned something new today, that um, that discharge or that fluid that comes out of vaginas, it's not always the same. It can be looking really normal and healthy and look like four different types of things. Point number three, our vagina speaks to us. It communicates to us in um, what it's putting out into the world, right? So if our vagina is not feeling well, and by vagina, I really do mean the inside passage, um, that tube of muscle that connects the cervix or the uterus to the outside world. If our vagina is not feeling healthy, if it has a yeast infection or some sort of bacterial infection, um, it is going to be able to tell us through this, uh, its smell or from what the, um, the discharge or the fluid looks like. I recommend a book something like this, The Vagina Bible. It's written by a gynecologist. It has a lot of information about vaginas. And this sort of book is really useful to have on a family bookshelf. Because if you have um, children growing up in your house and they have a vagina, then having a go-to book like this can be so reassuring and useful, not just for them, but for you too as a parent. Because sometimes kids are going to ask us questions and we are not going to go to know the answer because like it's probably not our specialty, right? You may be a, um, a supermarket owner or a taxi driver, or you might be a teacher of fine literature and vaginas are not your bag, right? So 
find a resource like this and I'll put um, the link for this particular book uh, into the comments below. It's called The Vagina Bible by Jen Gunter if um, anyone wants to look it up and um, give your children the opportunity to have access to resources like this to help them learn how to read the language of their vagina. So let's sum up. One, vaginas clean themselves and that's often what our discharge is about. Point two, uh, our discharge changes over time, that fluid, it changes what it looks like and that can give us hints as to what's happening inside our body. And point three, we need to learn to communicate with our vagina. The way it communicates with us is through smell and discharge and we can learn the language to make sure we can keep ourselves super duper healthy. And that's sitting in a car for another week where I've answered a question to help you raise your confident and caring young person who respects themselves and the people around them. And while I've got you here, can I ask for your help? Would you repost, like, or subscribe to Sitting in a Car? This helps parents just like you find the information and support they need to do this part of their parenting even better. Thanks for that and bye for now.